Thank you for joining me on this episode of Hills on the Road Life. My name is Zachary Hill. Let's jump into it. YouTube, what up? So, we're back at it again. Today, we're here with Alterax. And yes, last time, last time you guys seen me with an Alterac, you guys gave me a whole bunch of crap about not showing you the rack and showing you how it works. So, we're back at it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll show you how it works. We'll go through a couple little things and this is actually a really nice rack. I really like this rack. So, this is an all steel rack. The crossbar, the top bar, the racks, the vertical bar, all steel. Then you have your straps. Your straps go from here down to the side of your hitch or straight to your bumper. These straps are to take the wobble and the slop out of it. This rack does not have much side to side slop. I mean, as you can see, like that's just the hitch. The hitch itself doesn't have much slop. So, you can take and fold the rack here in the middle. The rack will not go back towards the vehicle. Since the rack won't go back towards the vehicle, you don't have to worry about smashing out your back window or any way that you can lose this thing into the back of your vehicle. That is really, really nice. So, let's go ahead, show you real quick how this thing, this thing actuates, and we'll get back to it. So, this is the bar. You will pick this up and turn it, and then that will allow the rack to slide back. No, that's so that's so nice how easy that is. This is really high right now, so it's awkward. But it's really not because I'm in a dip. Yeah. Otherwise, no, it's it, super easy loading. Yeah. And can you you can load them too with it? Oh yeah. Lean okay. mean back off both. Just hell. There's once you get good at it, like, you like <laughs> you know, then you're not even leaning in the back. I yeah, I mean I, I still at home, I just lean it back and I load and I put it back up. But yeah, yeah. It depends on the height, especially the vehicle. If it's not a, if it's not on the truck or a minivan or something, these are like, uh, I mean, when you roll up, the tire hits right here, so you just roll right in. Okay. You're not even picking the bike up. Uh -huh. There's a pin right now in it, so it won't tilt. Yeah, you just gotta pull the pin out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This guy? Yeah. That okay. guy, and since it's leaning this way, the weight is resting on a pin, so you just pull on the beam, and you can pop the pin out. Okay. Yeah. And then you just, this is not a lift, it's just a jump. 90 degree turn, and it comes out. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're down. Than I thought it was gonna be. It's harder, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. And you want this to go back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're on the downhill again. This thing is like, if you look at the truck, it's sitting. Yeah. Kind of angles upward. And so that it's a good real life kind of situation when you park off road. Yeah. One of those. They have those tailgates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anything like that? Like what they did? Like, I think they have some kind of piston underneath or something. I'm not sure. I haven't, uh, I haven't so you know, anything you put low, um, I, I messed around with the tailgate assist for a while. Uh, you can put something in there. The problem is road salt is, and, and grime. It will trash the mechanism. That's the hard part. But so that's, I have an electrical actuator that you can plug in here and it's a button. And it plugs through the hitch and it actually brings the rack back for you. I've been working on a mobility for trikes, yeah. you know, for handicaps. Yeah. Yeah, so like that would you just push a button and just go through that. That'd be so perfect. <laughs> As you see, you have to pull a pin from here and then you just turn this 90 degrees and then it flops the rack loose and you can to the turn you can lower the rack then. You always want to make sure that this comes back to center here. 
because that is your automatic lock. When you push this thing back, when you push this thing back up, it'll flip over there and it'll lock right back in. Just like this. Oh, isn't that really cool? I, I really like that feature. And then once you get it up here, this thing, I mean, yes, you can do a little bit side to side, but front to back, there's, there's no movement front to back. This rack is absolutely solid. These straps come down to the hitch, and then that takes care of any other weird movements that you have in it. That's really cool. I really like the way that this rack works. I think that now that I understand how it works and that I've handled this rack, I really think this is probably going to be the rack that I end up getting. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. When you're looking at an American built product, all of this is done in Utah. Every bit of it. The powder coating in the center is done just a few miles from the shop. All of the products are bought in Utah. Everything is made, cut, everything is done in Utah. So when you're looking at that, the fact that you have everything all done in the United States, in one state, yes, it's a very, very nice product. The guys that run the business, this is the third or fourth time that I've interacted with them and they're always really nice to talk to. They're always really, really good. I really like the company. It's a company that I would suggest if you're looking for a bike rack, Alterax is the one that you want to look at.